Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeen. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held today at Odebia Palace a meeting that included the Minister of Housing, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, and the Minister of Labor and Social Development in line with His Royal Highness's keenness on following up on citizens' affairs and on meeting their needs. His Royal Highness directed the ministers and officials to address citizens' notices on social media platforms and to overcome any obstacles hindering the completion of service projects. He stressed that citizen satisfaction, comfort and meeting their needs is the priority of all government programs and plans. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government will spare no effort to develop the level of its services and to complete all projects for their importance in improving citizens' living standards. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's support and keenness on infrastructure and housing projects which are directly connected to citizens' livelihood for their vital role in advancing development. His Royal Highness also stressed the importance of giving priority to increasing field visits to villages in order to meet citizens and identify their needs. After listening to a briefing by the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagub al Hamar, on the projects being implemented by the Ministry, his Royal Highness directed to meet housing needs in all areas and to speed up the implementation of ongoing housing projects. He asserted that the government continues its strategy that aims to provide suitable housing for citizens and to adopt initiatives that reduce the number of waiting lists. His Royal Highness also listened to a briefing by the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, on the projects the ministry implements in various cities and villages. His Royal Highness directed to speed up providing more parking spaces in Muharraq Governorate and other heavily populated areas. He was also briefed on the measures taken by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to meet the needs of citizens in a number of villages and areas of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness also directed to continue achieving citizens' aspirations and to facilitate providing services in social, employment and care centers. It was an honor for me to meet His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and brief him with the work process in the Ministry of Housing in general. The housing applications and also the outcomes of our visit to the villages that His Royal Highness directed to conduct an inspection visit and meet with the residents. I have also highlighted to His Royal Highness that all housing requests are given a priority and that the Ministry is constantly in the process of creating solutions through the available lands after which a budget is set to move forward with implementing projects. During our meeting today, which was chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, we reviewed the services and projects that are being carried out by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in various areas of Bahrain. These projects and initiatives are in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. We have met with representatives of many cities and villages and identified their needs and work is actually being done to meet those needs. In the Northern Governorate, the Duraz Harbour is nearly accomplished, as well as the development of inner roads in Duraz, Bani Jamra and Barbar, and infrastructure work in general is being carried out in all regions of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister provides special care to social welfare projects that concern families, special needs individuals and the elderly. As an example, today we have a comprehensive community center in Budaya aimed to serve all the villages located in that area, as well as an elderly care center, in addition to the Ali Comprehensive Care for the Disabled, which consists of nine buildings. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Bahraini sailor Jafar Ahmed Yusuf Muhammad from Dimistan village, who rescued a Bahraini family from drowning in the sea. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Jafar Ahmed for his bravery and heroic action in rescuing the family. For his part, the sailor Jafar Ahmed expressed thanks and appreciation to his master the king hailing the initiative of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to receive him. He noted that His Highness's influential words provide the youth with courage and strength to serve the country.
Bahrain Defense Force concluded today the events of a seminar on combating terrorism strategies held under the patronage of the Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, organized by the Royal Guard in cooperation with the European Union Institute for Security Studies. The seminar comes following the directives of the BDF General Command, headed by the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. At the end of the ceremony, the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force distributed the certificates to participants, noting the role of the organizers and participants in the success of the event. He wished the participants every success. The Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Executive Director of the Isa Cultural Center and Board of Trustees Chairman of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the Seven Hills International Film Festival held in Hungary. During his speech at the inauguration ceremony, Sheikh Khalid said that Bahrain aims to convey the culture of tolerance and coexistence emanating from the reality of the Bahraini society. This participation comes within the framework of the Kingdom, being the guest of honor of this festival with the participation of more than 4,000 authors, scriptwriters, directors and filmmakers from all over the world. Sheikh Khalid also pointed out that the event is within the Kingdom's efforts to spread the values and culture of tolerance and peaceful coexistence spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the open cultural environment and the spread of the showrooms contributed to the development of Bahraini artistic talent that are regarded as one of the most important talents of art in the Arabian Gulf region, pointing out that Bahrain today is full of young cinematic talents. He also pointed out that Bahrain will participate in this festival through two art projects by young Bahraini directors, noting that these directors have won several international awards. Sheikh Khalid stated that holding a Bahrain day will include a musical performance rather a musical performed by the Bahraini maestro Wahid Al Khan through the orchestral tunes of his album Return, translating the values and memories inspired by the reality of coexistence in Bahraini society in the present and the past. <laughs> 